So I don't know if you could tell that the Bronco was shifting pretty hard in third gear right there. Uh, it's a common issue with this 10-speed transmission where something throws it off and it doesn't shift right. But from what I understand, there's also a way to fix it. So we're gonna see if we can fix it with four scan. We're gonna see if we can reset it. Now I've also heard that there's a way to reset it through like, you know, revving it through different gears, putting in neutral for a few seconds, parking for a few seconds, drive for a few seconds and putting it back. And then it says you have to do it like, I don't know, like six times to get it to reset. Um, four scan is much easier than that. So we're gonna reset it with four scan and hopefully it'll work. So what this is, is the transmission is learning. It's learning how it shifts up and down and it's trying to be more efficient and it's learning its limits too. Oh, make a turn, hold up. Okay, so it's learning its limits and it's learning how to be more efficient. So it's sometimes jumping third gear, I'm thinking fifth gear and seventh gear or something like that. So something threw the transmission off. It could have been towing, could have been off-roading, but something is making it skip third and jerk into fourth. So we're gonna see if we can reset this in the morning. I Okay, so I always recommend the OBD2 Link EX with the wire, with the USB wire that connects straight to the laptop. Make it easier. Um, you can do this with a, a Bluetooth one, okay? But we're gonna just plug this in down here. Straight in here. And then into the computer. Okay, so now we're gonna put the vehicle on without turning it on, just the power mode. Just make it look like it's starting, right? And then we're gonna open up force scan over here. It's gonna to wanna to connect, yes. Let's connect it. It's connecting to all the modules on the vehicle. Now see on the bottom it says ready, it's ready. So now we're gonna go into the wrench here, right? The service functions. And we're looking for the clear. So we're gonna click on clear transmission adaptive tables, okay? We're gonna go down here to hit run. Clear transmission, yes. And turn the vehicle off. Wait a second, then turn it back on. And then hit OK. Wait 30 seconds while it's clearing that uh, original tables. And it's going to start automatically learning this all over. Boom done right so now you're not going to just exit out you should hit stop down here and go back to the top here and disconnect there now you can exit out and let's go for a drive just first second third fourth fifth Six, seventh, um, and I'm slowing down now, so I don't know if it'll keep doing seven or change or what. Let's see, it's on eighth now, huh? So I'm gonna skip one in there. Okay, so it worked. It's not uh, jerking. I already tried it a few times, stopping and going. And it's just, it's it, perfect. It's working perfect now. So I feel like. I feel like I'm driving a little cautiously so it kind of relearns that uh, transmission gearing, but I think it'll be good. I think we'll be good. All right guys, so we reset transmission and it's been working perfectly. So I'd say it's a success, all right? So don't forget to like, subscribe and check out some of the other videos I have. If you want more information on how to get 4Scan, check out this video too. Deuce.